Member for Calgary Nose Hill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Could the Prime Minister please update the House and tell us what percentage of Canadians currently rely on foreign imported energy to heat their homes? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we know uh, how important it is to continue to invest in transforming our energy mix in this country. Uh, with climate change a reality that almost all Canadians understand and accept, uh, we need to make sure we're drawing on the expertise of our energy sector, of our energy workers, uh, to be able to transform towards uh, lower carbon sources of electricity and energy. That's exactly what we are focused on right now. I'm pleased uh, that the Conservative Party uh, seems to understand the, that we need uh, to clean, to transform our energy mix. Uh, I look forward to working with them and with all Canadians across this country to make that happen. Honourable Member for Calgary Nose Hill. I actually didn't expect him to know the answer. I mean, why would he, right? It's 30 percent. 30 percent of Canadians rely on foreign imported energy to heat their homes. Energy prices are out of control. And when he talks about transforming our energy mix, Mr. Speaker, he should be talking about transforming it to sovereign produced. Canadian energy that is to rapidly decarbonized instead of offshoring our jobs. Will he commit to ending Canada's reliance on high carbon imported foreign energy? Yeah. Honourable Prime Minister. I have committed to Canada to ending its reliance uh, on, on, uh, on uh, carbon intensive uh, fuels. We are going to reach net zero by 2050, and that uh, is uh, going to be something that we will only accomplish by working with and leaning on the extraordinary energy workers across this country who've uh, created such extraordinary energy industry across this country and who are going to be a central part, uh, part of moving us beyond our reliance on fossil fuels to be able to uh, support ourselves uh, with cleaner energy. That's the goal that we have on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker. It would be nice to see... Member for Calgary. Knows Hill. That's really interesting, Mr. Speaker, because you know what he's asked the Natural Resources Minister to do in his mandate letter? End energy sector jobs. That's actually in the Natural Resource Minister's mandate. So instead of diversifying our energy mix, he should be trying to ensure that Canadian energy workers have jobs, not offshore to Saudi Arabia. Will he say today that he will commit to ending the tankers of Saudi high carbon, high fossil fuel oils and instead commit to protecting energy sector worker jobs in Canada? The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative Party of Canada is doing no benefit to uh, workers in the oil industry when it pretends that all will be well as they whistle past the graveyard uh, because the reality is the world is moving off of fossil fuels. It'll take decades, but it is doing that. And what we need to do is plan for and create those good jobs in the energy industry that will come from renewables, come from hydrogen, come through technologies like CCUS. Unfortunately, the Conservative Party of Canada is doubling down on an approach. A member for Calgary Nose Hill. Canadians know what just inflation looks like. Higher prices, less stuff on the shelves. Let me tell you what just transportation transition looks like, higher greenhouse gas emissions, and more offshore jobs. This Prime Minister has seen greenhouse gas emissions rise under his time in office. He's seen us spend billions and billions and billions of dollars on debt, all while erasing good paying. Alberta and Saskatchewan jobs in the energy sector. Instead of giving our jobs to Saudi Arabia, he should be working with the energy sector to reduce its reliance. Why hasn't he done so? The right honourable Prime Minister. At least Canadians are faced with a very clear choice right now. I thank the member for Nose Hill for being so articulate about it. Uh, Canadians can either move forward on continuing to rely on fossil fuels or we can choose the path that this government has taken uh, to ensure that we're supporting our energy workers as we transform towards less reliance on fossil fuels as we get to net zero. I know the future that Canadians want to choose because that's how they voted in the last election for parties serious about fighting climate change. I really hope the Conservatives uh, take a, a hard look at that policy.